Hey everybody, it's Crystal with Reefs of Circle Creek and today this video is showing me making this reef um, with a sign and ribbon mesh set that I have in our shop. Um, the set would come with this 10 inch um, reef sign. It's UV protected. It's, it's really lightweight aluminum metal uh, with no holes in it, but it has these cute, I know it's kind of a glare from the window. I'm trying to show it to you. <laughs> so I see that's kind of hard. But anyways, these are cute USA gnomes, and they have my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. Um, so you'd get this sign and this set. You'd get this mesh, which is the patriotic mesh. It's the royal blue, red, and white with that pretty metallic foil in there. So that comes in this set, and you would get three of these ribbons, 30, yard, 30 yards of ribbon. So 10, 10 yard rolls for each. Um, and this would come in this set. I'm offering this set in our shop. So um, the ribbon's real cute. Let me show you the ribbon a little bit up close. It's a cute USA ribbon with the American heart. And um, it also has a, there it is, a picture of United States of America. It's very cool. And then of course you gotta have the, the patriotic stars in there. And it matches and matches the sign. So you have that matching. And then this is the Royal Blue Shimmer Ribbon. And I really like this. It um, it looks like the, the glitter, except it's not everywhere as much as the glitter, although I still love all the glitter. But anyways, in this set, so this set you'd get the, the, the 10 inch sign, and you'd get the two and a half inch US ribbon, and then the one and a half white stars on red and the royal blue shimmer the one and a half so it comes all in this set um, and I I use this set to make this wreath um, in the video what's not in this set but is in my shop um, I have these reforms this is what I use this is a 13 inch reform it makes probably up to a 20 to 22 inch reef uh, depending what method you use mine came out to be 22 I did more of the curls and the ruffle um, but if you want this reform, if you go to my shop and you search, it would be CVW192 in the search bar, it will pull up this reform. And then what I added to the, my reef that's not in the set was, of course, corals. And so I added this red mesh and then this royal blue, and they're all foil metallic meshes. Um, but if you're looking for this mesh, um, the item number on this one is RE130124, and you can do that in the search bar in our shop, and it will pull up this red mesh for you. And then this royal blue mesh is RE130125, if you're looking for the royal blue mesh. I also have navy blue, so if you want navy blue or silver, and if you want it to do the curls, I did the curls. I did curls with them, and then I added that to my reef. Um, and of course, what I did in the video is, because I used this reef form, which had 16 ties, I took this and I cut these at 20 inch increments. So you cut 16 of these at 20. And um, that's what I used with this. And let's see, what else? Oh, and then before the video, um, each of these ribbons were cut at 12 inches increment. So 12 inches for the two and a half, and then 12 inches for the one and a half, and 12 inches for this one and a half with the white stars on it. So, and because I had 16 ties, I did 16 cuts of these, and then I did eight cuts of these, and eight cuts of these. Because I, you know, um, sorry, alter alternated them throughout the reef. But, I hope you like the video and I hope you like the set. Um, if you want to search for this set on our store, it will be, the title will be the U.S. Gnome Set. So, um, and you will get, again, you'll get this one roll of the Deco Mesh, the Patriotic, the Royal Blue, Red and White, and you will get the 10 inch UV protected metal sign, reef sign. And then you're going to get these lovely ribbons here. You'd get these three ribbons here. 
So it'd be an, it'd be good, and then you'd have some left over if you went do bows or whatever. But I did not add. I know in the video I use these, but these are not part of the set. But they are in my shop if you do want them. So I hope you like the set, and um, thank you for watching this. And please uh, feel free to message me. Um, also, I'm very curious if y'all like having a reform in a set or not. I know everyone's a little different, um, and, and different on the sizes. And some some customers I've found don't particularly care for these reforms. So, um, but let me know. Anyways, I hope you'll have a good day. Thank you for watching this, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I took our mesh and I cut it at 20 inches. So we got 20 inches cut. We need 16 of them, uh, or I need 16 of them because I'm using this um, 13 inch reform and it has 16 ties. So I cut this at 20 and I cut 16 cuts. I like that mesh. It has that pretty full in there. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the curl. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to scrunch it or ruffle it in the middle and go to my end here. One, two, three, and then hold it together and put this in here. So the bottom tie, twist it, it's in there. And that's pretty mesh. You got the royal blue, the red, and the white. Very patriotic. <laughs> so then let's do that again. So one, two, three, and then ruffle. One, two, three, and then gather it in the middle, making your little um, bow or bow tie with a little bit of a curl at the end, and put it in. One, two, and I kind of press it down on that wire so I have more of these. Um, more length with this tie, so press it down. Let's do another one. So, one, two, three, and then we just kind of ruffle it. Ruffle, ruffle, and then we curl. One, two, three. <laughs> and then we have it in the tie, and then we tie. You can kind of flip these out and go this one. Let's do another one. Let's see if I can get more of a close up. Let me try that. A little bit better, not by much, huh? But let's see. One, two, three. And then we just ruffle. And then you just curl this. One, two, three. And then gather it. And kind of fix it the way you want it. And let's see, we'll put it in this tie. Okay, push that down. One, two, three. Sorry guys, if y'all hear that background, that's my husband is home. Sounds like he's beating the trash or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But let's do another one. One, two, three, and then ruffle. One, two, three, and then I gather it. Okay. So we got our bottom almost done. One, two. And we just go around and we do it. Do another one. So one, two, three, and then just ruffle the middle. One, two, three, and then gather. Like that. There you go. I like those colors. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and do these last three and do the top, same method, and then we're going to come back and add more to it. Okay, so now we got all our mesh in, and then I think with this one, we can add some curls to it. It'd be cute. Uh, not on, I'm not going to do every tie, just every other tie. And um, these are cut at 10 inches, and I have red and a royal blue mesh. And I already have some ready here, um, but in case you wanted to see, all I do is roll them, you know, just kind of roll them like this a little bit. And then you can roll this one. These are cut at the very end, so it's actually pretty nice because they curl up naturally <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> but you just kind of roll them here. And then, you know, you can stack them on top of each other like this. And you can take a, a, a pipe cleaner that's been cut, or you can just put them in this way. Whatever's easy is for you, but for these, this is what I did. Um, I just try to get it in the center. And then I take this. And I just kind of push these up, and then I just kind of tighten these, this little pipe cleaner here, if you can see that. And then I'm going to probably cut the remaining pipe cleaner off. So that's, so it's easy for me to get placed in there. And so then I take my wire cutters here, I'll cut that off, and I'll fold that. And then I have my curl, and then I put it in my little pile here, and it's ready for me to put in there. I don't know what happened to my trash can. <laughs> I'll put it on the side. So we're just going to do every other tie. I'm just going to open it up real good here. And I'm going to take my little curl and place it in the middle. And then tie it in. Whoops. A little bit too hard. So that would be kind of cool. I'll give it a little pop of the royal blue and red, and then we'll skip this tie, we'll go to this tie. Then we'll put the ribbons in, we'll have that color peeking out. So I'm just going to put it in the middle. Like that. Gotta carefully curl them up. Let's get that one, and we'll do this one. Do y'all like doing the curls into your mesh? Or how do you like to do your deco mesh wreaths? I like them sometimes. It adds a good little pop of color to them. And then we just go this way. And then you just keep skip one and then add another one. So. And I have to talk to myself because I'll end up putting another one here <laughs> and I forget. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one in. Let's see. And then curl it like that. And then we got our curls in. And there we go. And then this, this set, because the ties are not an uh, even number, you can have one that touches. It doesn't bother me. I might, let's see. I will put another one next to this one. Yeah. Or maybe not. That's always a decision I make at the end, really. I think I will. I'll put one more here. One more there. I like these reforms. That's the only, probably my only complaint about it is that they're not even numbers, although you could cut the tie and make it an even number. I just don't like to. <laughs> so then we got this in, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the top, and we'll come back and we add our ribbons. Okay, so I'm sorry guys, I went back on what I said. I took this bottom one out because I really don't want them together. I want some space, even if the ties aren't even, I just because I just want a little pop of that color, and I think it looks better than having it right there unless you're going to do all of them like that. So now we have our curls in here and now we're going to put in our ribbons. Okay now we're going to add our ribbons and I really love these ribbons. Um, I like that two and a half. This is uh, the USA with the heart and the picture of America. It's really pretty and it has um, little, the polka dots at the end, 
It's real cute, and we're going to put it um, with this blue, royal blue shimmer ribbon. It's pretty. And then we have the red and white with the little American stars. So that'll be really cute on. So I'm just going to take my two and a half. I'm going to start with the blue. And just find my middle. I'm going to kind of do it like that. Just kind of gather in the middle. Like that. And then we're just going to place it in the tie. So let's start with this one. And that's kind of hard to see here. Let me see what I can get where you can kind of see. So I'm going to do that. And then one, two. I'm going to tie it. And I can these out a little bit. So yeah. I like that shimmer too. It's pretty. And then do the next one. Take our USA ribbon and our stars and find the middle and then gather it like that. And put that in the tie and cut the these out. Cute, cute ribbon. Super cute. I love, I love the ribbon. <laughs> so here's that. Not upside down. Go with our blue. Hold it. Like that. And gather the middle. And I'm going to put it in my tie. I can see that. Now it's kind of hard. Um, I have to turn it to me so I can get a good grip on it. <laughs> And then just tie it in there. And fan these ribbons out. And I'll cut down these ties. Or you can leave, I mean, this is a navy blue. I mean, you can't really see it. But um, sometimes I like to curl that a little bit where the tie is. Alright. So then we take USA and our stars. There we go. Gather the middle. Put it in our tie. And then we're going to fan that ribbon out. Yeah, I like those ribbons. It's pretty. Okay, and I'm going to keep going around doing the same process, and then we'll come back to add our sign. See you soon. Okay, now we're going to put the sign in. We got our, our ribbon in. See, I love that ribbon. It's so pretty. And now we're going to put in our sign. So I have my wires, and I have my um, knit needles here that help me guide and walk my wire through. Uh, a pretty lightweight sign so I mean I, I put four in just in case but um, you can get away with just doing two if you're doing if you're putting holes in your sign so I'm just gonna work this in back here All right. I'm just bring in my my wires in make sure I get that centered and I will clean my fingerprints off once I'm done with this <laughs> Y'all do that. <laughs> Try and position your sign and get your fingerprints all over it. <laughs> yeah. Definitely make sure you clean it before, before you give it to your customer. <laughs> and then have that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the side ones in there. And then I'll tie it down. So I try to be careful not to go through everything if I can. Oops, pop them back out. Get my hand down here. Sorry, guys. You can't see that, huh? All right. Let me get this one down. 
I got that. And there. So that's centered. Yeah. So now let me start with this top. Let's see what's going on here. Get this wrapped around. And then I'll get my bottom. Well, I'll add just a little bit. Let's see here. So I'm just taking that wire and um, once you have it positioned, I'm just taking that the floral wire that I'm using and I'm getting it in its spot. I'll work on my ribbons after we're done. That's straight. Oh, the sides will help me to position a little more like this. Let me go ahead and get the bottom here. So I'm doing my bottom and I'm putting it on the inner ring. Okay, and now, let's see, I want it to come up just a little bit more, let the camera help me a little bit, yeah. So now I'm going to get the side in, let's see, I've got that side in, let me get this side in. It's always a feels like a magic trick show or something <laughs> to get the sign in. <laughs> I'm sure y'all are much better than me at this. <laughs> but here we go. Let's see. And oops, sorry. I'm just trying to get my wires in really good. So they're in. We have our sign and our ribbons, and then I will end up cutting these ties down a little bit. But so far, then you work your ribbons back out around your sign. And I'm going to cut these um, pencil ties down. Sorry, guys. Can't think of the word. And then it's really cute. So if y'all can see that, I know it's kind of hard. Got our wire in and our sign in. And then I'm going to cut this down and come back and show you the reef. Okay, here is our reef. Let me see if I can get the gnome straight. That's so cute. I like the ribbons. <laughs> and then here's the back. If y'all wanted to see the back, that's the back. Um, it's real cute. I like, I like those ribbons and of course the the gnome sign is super cute. So um, thank y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to y'all later.